to infinity and beyond is what one capable astronaut says in the hit upcoming film, Lightyear, about historical figure Buzz Lightyear. And he's an astronaut, and he's real, and we're going to hear about him, and we're going to talk about him. And our culture is number one on trending, the trailer for Buzz Lightyear. Okay, so... Who's ready to go to warp speed? I was going to say go to war. I was like, yeah, he probably has killed people. That's weird to think about. Yeah, um, I mean, in the cartoon show, he kills lots of people. A lot of aliens he kills in the cartoon. They're no he has that whole people. speech about you got to like close that part of your heart. Because Ooh. he has PTSD. Yeah, you gotta close Wait, it up so you can love, that, but you can also kill. That speech, is that in to- a Toy Story or in the cartoon, Buzz Lightyear, Star Command? It's in Toy Story 3 when he's Telling okay. Andy after Andy kills that guy. That was up your heart. Yeah, because, okay, so this is actually not the first time uh, this has been portrayed because there's been some confusion. People are like, wait, is it about Buzz Lightyear, the, the doll from the movie? These no, fucking it's, idiots. It's about Buzz Lightyear, the character. So it's a meta, meta fucking thing. Uh, it's a fictional, fictional universe, basically in which you're, you're there explaining the origin of Buzz Lightyear. And this has already been done. It was done on the UPN network back in the day uh, in the year 2000, which makes sense that they would put that out in. You know, everything was like Tell 2000 it. space. Um, but that was a great show, Buzz Lightyear of Star Command. It was him and his comrades fighting uh, the evil emperor Zerg. And there was a hottie named uh, Mira Nova, green-skinned, redhead, very good looking woman. We were uh, talking about this before you got here. Do you think Zerg is going to be in this? Or do you think they're going to bury Zerg? I think he will be because Zerg, if I'm not mistaken, also is represented in Toy Story. So I don't think they're going to totally break with tradition. Um, but you're right, though. We were talking about this before the podcast. We're in double inception because in the Toy Story universe, he is a toy that is like representing a made-up universe that's made up if you are in Toy Story. So this is in the made-up universe inside of a made-up universe. So I feel like that far down the rabbit hole, they're free probably to change stuff around. Uh, Why unless, would you? Zerg is a great villain. But you don't have an actual... Zerg is canceled because we, we finally... Started looking into the ages of all his little minions he has around him, and it is not good. But he's then only canceled in the Toy Story universe because that's the universe in which he is like a. And thing. when he's canceled, his toy sales go through the roof because that's how that works. So there's <laughs> yeah. actually more Zergs now than there's ever been. If you see him in the the mockups for like the new movie, the movie or whatever, with him without his purple hood on. He does look like a fat guy who has a podcast called like the Whiskey Dudes or whatever. <laughs> uh, Anti cancel culture. Well, he is like an Ohio head for sure. <laughs> I don't um, think I've ever seen his actual hairline. It's disturbing. But, no, you don't. You shouldn't ha- have to see it. You shouldn't have to see it. Is my point. But his. So this reminded me today of. Do you remember the episode War and Peace and War of Buzz Lightyear Star Command? Oh, yeah, I was about to bring that up. Really? <laughs> what do you no, mean? No, no, I wasn't. Okay. I, was, I was just you humoring you. Titles <laughs> of the episodes? Yeah, this, well, I had to look it up, but this one episode <laughs> left a deep impression on me <gasps> because it's, maybe we should do a viewing of this, but uh, Absolutely, we should. It's the 49th episode of the last episode, of the first season, last episode of the first season, Forty November two thousand. Watching it whole season, one a week. Significant <laughs> other on the couch after work. Time one, to put on another Buzz Lightyear and then go have sex afterwards. That is fucking nuts that they made forty nine episodes for one season. The first season is as long as Gundam Wing. <laughs> That's insane. I mean, I know they're twenty minutes, but still, like that must have been. There must have been some serious uh, problems. With the working conditions at this fucking, you know, animation. Sure. Yeah, Buzz Lightyear accidentally shot somebody. It's really tragic. (laughs) One of the space guns went off. Wait, so what happens in this episode? 